Ladies and gentlemen, your following contest is brought to you by Fairtex. Three by three minute rounds in the super flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Mod and Adam Bailey at a Pursuit Muay Thai with an official weight of 52.65 kilograms. Undefeated, seven fights, seven wins, and fighting out of Perth, Western Australia. She is the WMF flyweight state title champion, Tia. Ford. And across the ring is her opponent fighting out of the red corner, trained by Andy Colgrave and the team out of the ring gym with an official weight of 52.8 kilograms, seven fights, six wins, one loss, fighting out of Melbourne, Michelle Russell. When the action begins, your man in charge and center ring, Abba Samadhi, both fighters can seal the ring. Michelle Russell versus Tia Ford, Ford the elder by seven years. Both women weighed in on the money at 53 kilos. Eight fights, six wins to Ford, six wins in seven for Michelle Russell. Round number one. one between Tia Ford in the blue and Michelle Russell in the red. Michael Chevello, the hammer. Mark Castanini with you from the sold out Melbourne Pavilion. You're watching Rebellion Muay Thai. Both ladies straight into the clinch and knees here. No wasting time, no filling up process. There was a wicked stare down from Russell during the referee's instructions earlier. Downward elbow, trying to crack the collarbone there. Michelle Russell, of course, trained by uh, Andy Colgrave at the ring gym, and also with a uh, newly uh, appointed UFC fighter, Jack Jenkins, in the corner. So uh, she's got a good stable of training mates and coaches around her, Russell, and it's showing now implementing range Top. control. And on the inside, the elbow already, they cut to the left-hand side of Tia Ford's head, I can see. Into the clinch they go. Tia now, the blood coming from that forehead. I didn't reach advantage, Russell, all her way. But Tia, gritty as you like, from uh, Pursuit Muay Thai in WA. Nice cut on the hairline here of Ford. That is dangerous. That is a big one. The doctor's gonna take a look at it. It could run down into that left eye. But what a way to start here for Russell with the crowd behind her, the Victorian. Oh, that's a money box. I'm sure she'll be okay to go on. But it's opened up early, not even 90 seconds into the fight. And Russell has bled forward in the opening round. Downward elbow to the collarbone again. This is nasty stuff from Michelle Russell Hammer. Yeah, they've gone out with a really good plan. No slow starting, that's for sure. And Russell went out early and brought the elbows, the heavy heat with the elbows. Russell wants to cut flesh. Go, 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 Russell go, 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 wants go, 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 to break go, 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 bones. Make no go, go, go. doubt about it. She has a woman on a mission. Outside low kick. Blood streaking down the face here of Tia Ford. Long-ranging front kick from Russell. Yeah, beautiful skip up, range control, as I said. Russell's uh, got it. She's moving well and exploding with those vicious techniques when she needs to as well. They grind it out in the clinch, big knees exchanged. Ford trying to lock down and get some balance control Jump, on the inside. On, guys. I'd like to see, Russell can just keep this one on the outside if she likes, but when she steps in, she drops that right elbow down. Russell, front kick to the midsection, Ford comes through the right hand, tries to enter clinch range, uppercut elbow, spinning back elbow from Russell, putting on a Muay Thai show in the first. Round kick, rocks the head back with the left hand, double leg kick there from Ford, now in the corner. Chance of the elbows again for Russell. Keep working, keep Just working. Just chipping with the knees on the inside. Abbasa Mahdi, centre referee, wants him to keep working, wants him to stay busy. We'll break him, however, at the end of the first round.
in it all. Second round, set for three. First round going the way of Russell. Elbows again. She wants to flay the face of Ford once more. Knees to the body. Gutsy determination from Ford on the inside. Can she land the elbows in this round, Ford? And fittingly, how much she's wearing the Ford colours of blue and white. Absolutely, Ford showing a lot of heart, and they build them tough in Perth. So, uh, pursuit Muay Thai, solid campaign as always, and she's got a perfect record. So, this could be a disruption to that, uh, to that Sterling record that she has. Inside leg kick from Ford takes the outside leg kick. Russell, another outside leg kick to front kick. Ford ties her up. Chance for the knees. Ford throws. So too does Russell. They tango back against the ropes. Cut munching knees here from Ford. Is there another small cut now to the central forehead of Ford? More blood appearing just above the eyebrows. Good, good, good. Well uh, Top. Taking her foot a little off the accelerator in this round, Michelle Russell, the red, the, the fighter out of the red corner. And uh, Ford is intent on going forward and trying to get this, this damage back that she's obtained. There is another cut. On the centre forehead of Ford, throws her knees in the midsection. She is scoring much better in this round, Ford. But she is going to need some stitching after this fight. Nice knees here from Russell. Tries for a raking uppercut elbow. Good knee to the abdomen. Front kick from Russell. Ford not wanting to let her off the ropes. Now she does get off there. Inside leg from Ford, outside leg from Russell. Ford's got tenacity, Hammer. Absolutely. I think she's been, uh, been in the wars before. Gets sat with a beautiful push kick. That front kick executed beautifully by Russell. One of the most underestimated weapons in, uh, in fight sports for mine. Just for distance control. If you top oh. it right like that, up to the face. There's so many variables and uh, so much advantage to having a good push kick. Inside leg from Ford. Russell again with the elbows. Clinch and knee from Russell. Scores for it. Keep working, keep working. We're seeing two cuts on the head of Ford. One to the side of the head on the hairline from the first round. One to the centre forehead in the second round. One of the braids has come undone as well on Ford, but a much better round for her. And there may be a third cut. There may be one. Yes, there is. Under the right eye. Three cuts now on Ford. Well, the razor-sharp elbows of Russell certainly uh, doing the damage. and a money box under the right eye of Ford. Third and final. She has been sliced, diced and filleted by Russell, the Muay Thai hustle. And Ford's got to rally back now. She had a much better second round, even if her face tells another story. And that right eye could be a target now, Hammer, for Russell to go after. Yeah, look, she's just sitting back and really uh, picking her shots cleanly. She hit her there again. 
and that would be what she'd be looking to do and just working that cut stick the hand on it just open it up even if you've got to grind away with the inside of the gloves for me i'd get in there i just put the glove on the face and just try and tear that skin a little bit more thank you for that Mop, she's just Mop got just gives a, a napkin over my drink the cover from the blood my, my nose has splattered <laughs> the blood of ford <laughs> blood's flying ringside and the two warrior ladies are mixing it up in the rebellion ring here at the melbourne pavilion tonight and things are certainly heating up in the prelude, of course, to what will be some high quality, high impact actions coming up in our eight man eliminating soon. Three cuts of the forehead, a mega cut under the right eye that is swelling shut in a hurry on Ford. But she continues to come forward, throws a left hand, throws a right hand. Russell locks her in the clinch. Tries to pull the head down for the meet and greet. Near the midsection from Ford. 125 remains of the fight. Russell with an elbow, tried to lop her ear off. Ben Go style. There's chipping knees on the inside. Ford trying to make something happen. Knee guard thrown up. Abbas Amadi will keep him broken apart and keep him working on the outside. This is where the push kicks and the range control comes into play now. Low kick from Russell. Abbas Amadi's warning the quarter of Ford, stay seated because they're jumping up and down, trying to rally their charge. They know she needs a knockdown or a knockout in the final round to win it. She continues to come forward. That right eye is absolutely stuffed. It's a horror story on Russell, but she digs deep again, goes into the clinch. 38 seconds remains now. Trying to get the clinch on. She needs to clamp her hands together. Because she's not shutting that clinch down and locking her hands, her body weight is still being manipulated forward by Russell. So she needs to get in there, clamp her hands together and stay on that inside if she wants to preserve that inside range control. Russell and now, down. Russell faking and taunting her a little bit, Hammer. Confidence oozing. Having fun with it on the outside. She knows she's done enough. Less than 10 seconds to go now. Final moments. It's going to be celebration soon for the red corner, no doubt. Well, big celebrations are due for Michelle Russell. But look at the respect she gives Tia Ford, and rightly so. What a brave performance from Ford. But this one will go the way of Michelle Russell. Just having a look at the final, final highlights of the third round. And I've got to just say, Tia Ford is 36 years of age, folks. 36 years of age. It's a testament to uh, her, her uh, you know, her, her personality in getting in, her determination in getting in, mixing it up with a much younger horse. She's 29 years of age, Michelle Russell, and absolutely coming into her peak. But uh, Tia Ford, you're a credit to, uh, to, your, to your camp and to yourself. Still training hard, working hard, having one of the hardest fights thus far on this Rebellion show. So uh, full credit to Tia Ford. The decision will no doubt go the way of the Russell without preempting anything. But still, ladies and gentlemen, take a bow, Tia Ford. And for our official decision, let's go to John Demacoli. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we head to the judges' scorecards for a decision. This fight is declared a unanimous points decision to your winner from Red Corner, Michelle Russell!